universities, our youth, who comprise a big percentage of our population, 65%, on the opportunities that are available so that they don't have to sit at home frustrated, feeling depressed, owing to the unemployment situation in the country currently. As an administration, as government, we are doing the very best that we can to secure these employment opportunities for them. But mind you, we are not only looking at the situation obtaining for those with certificates, be it a diploma, be it a degree, be it just an ordinary certificate, we're also looking at those who dropped out of school. They were unable to pursue further studies yeah, but they've been able to gain experience while they are working out there in various different sectors. Now, this is where the National Industrial Training Authority comes in because they have a program to assess the kind of experience these young people have and thereafter, you know, issue them with certificates. We recognize you that you have the skill we normally test you and give you that certificate and that is what is called recognition of prior learning. These are people who are already working but they don't have certificates. So we assess them and we give them certificates so that their certificate can be recognized and they can be able to get with that certificate jobs in the market. As we speak, we have got 20,000 youths who are doing exam, both recognition of prior learning and new students who are getting the certificate concurrently we normally reskill them and upskill them reskilling they have the skill we reskill them upskilling now we take the, from that grade there into another grade that's what we call recognition of prior learning and it is one of the best people we normally we don't consider their their education background they can be standard eight levers but they are the perfect in doing that particular skill and they can be able to give themselves a job. That's why we go around all over the country and give them that recognition certificate, which is called recognition of prior learning. Uh, female engineers uh, in most of these TVETs, coming from arid areas that we usually sponsor, depending on their humble background, we identify some and then sponsor them across the country. We use a total budget per year of about 10 million to ensure that we keep these young ladies in college.